Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is your first time seeing my hands. Hi, I'm Erin of Playing Life with Erin and I'm so excited you stopped by to check out this video. Thanks so much for being here. And if you're returning, hey, hey, how have you been? All right, guys, it is Monday. Um, we had a great weekend. I was going to film yesterday, but it ended up being like a really nice day. It wasn't super humid, it was sunny. So Joe and I did a couple of things down in the basement just to prepare for the next few super humid days um, and probably non-outside activities because it's gonna be so hot. Um, and then we went right into like just hanging out by the pool. We had an awesome day and my neighbors came over later in the day. It was very fun. So today is Monday and I have a play date later today. We have karate this morning. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna plan now. Because I need to be prepared in my planner. A lot going on this week. The next two weeks. Um, and then just having to remind myself to do a few things before we go on our trip. So, I decided to go with Coffee Monster Co. Desert Stroll. I think the last time I used this one was in April. For Weston's birthday. But I went with this one because it's going to be very hot and humid. Um this week. So I thought, oh, it's going to be like the desert. Oh, as I whack into the camera, I'm just trying to figure out what colors I want to do. Um, I think I'm going to keep it fairly neutral. I was thinking about bringing in some green, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. I think we're just going to stick with these two colors. Okay. Um, the colors that I'm bringing in are Tombow 992 and then Tombow zero two six. I think these two will work great with this. Um, and like I said, I've got quite a bit going on, <laughs> but, um, all fun things. So, and I'm still trying to, oh, there's not much left on here. There's like one flag on this one. Um, I'm still actually trying to figure out something for this week. So I think planning might help. Um, my cousin offered to take the kids, go up and have like a, a, a pool day and then take the kids overnight. We were thinking Thursday, but it's going to rain on Thursday. Friday will be nice, but I also have an appointment on Saturday. So I'm trying to work out the logistics, but let's start at the beginning and let's put this guy over here since it's going to be a sweltering week. I don't have a ton of deco. We've got some washi. I'm trying to use up a lot of my kits this summer. And then in September, I'll probably, or in August, I'll probably order a bunch of new kits to start over. Okay, <clears throat> let's do, I'm gonna pull out my, I think my summer ones, no. Everything I need in this guy, I think. So I'll put that one off to the side. And I was going over my habits and I was going to change it, but honestly, I haven't really put much thought into it. So I think I'm going to just keep things the same, especially because it's a little early for me. I think it's like 7.30 um, and there might be some interruptions, just FYI. Spencer's still sleeping. She'll probably, she tends to call out my name. Um... She does not know, like, when she wakes up, she doesn't have a clock that she can see, so she's not sure of the time, and she gets nervous. So, if you hear her yelling my name, we will pause, and I'll be back. Um, and then also, my mom calls me in the morning. So, hopefully that call doesn't boot me off. Okay. Got my ruler and my Energel Klena. This one is in a 0.3. I like to use this to make lines in my planners. I just feel like it's just the right shade of pen for a line. Okay, so for habits, let's see, I've got my bathrobe on today. <laughs> my habits, let's put um, Daily Grind Planner. Um reading vitamins actually I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do reading I'm gonna do vitamins um working out or work out eat well 
and then qigong because i've been trying to <laughs> i've been trying to do like a 10 minute qigong during the day like in between working and stuff and and just chores and whatever like 20 minutes of work and then five minutes of rest um i've been unsuccessful but it's a new week so you never know we're gonna put it on there oh nope that's not correct I'm actually sitting here and I'm just thinking about it. I don't have headers. No, I don't. I just have the... We'll have to go and see what I have for washi and see if there's anything I want to use. Is that straight? Straight enough. Um, ooh, hold on. I have... I like this washi. Maybe we'll just run this on the top. I think we'll just do that and then for down here we could use sometimes I like to just color these guys in let's see how that would look just to add like a pop of color and maybe we could use these on the top. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Usually when I color them in, they're like pastel colors. It's okay though. That was good. It's not terrible. Well, let's get my hobbies out. So yes, yeah, so we have a pretty good week planned out. I was kind of going over it with the kids last night at dinner. And we've got couple of play dates this week. Um, I think my dad is going to hang out with them for a little bit while um, my mom and I do some shopping this week just to just to have it go a little faster. Love having them with me but I swear I spend more money. I spend, I spend more money when um, sorry about the air conditioner guys but like I said it's a bajillion degrees out today. Um, I spend so much money when they're with me at the market and if it was just me and it gets frustrating when we're at BJ's because they're like, can we try this snack? And I'm like, but you've never had that snack before. And there's 400 of them in there. Maybe we can get a smaller one to make sure you like it first. <laughs> and I think everything just takes four times longer, which is fine, but I think it'll be nice to go without them this week if we can. So I think we're going to try to do that. And they love spending time with Papa. So it gives my dad an opportunity to hang out with them and just do something fun. And then my mom and I can get some time to just go in and out and do what we need to do. Although I love my mom's staff, but she takes a thousand, a thousand hours of PJ too. <laughs> <coughs> okay. But I like spending the time with her, so we're okay. All right, so we've got journaling, reading, and gaming for our cozy habits this week. Do I want? I want to add in some diamond painting. Um, what was I using for that? I know I have my key somewhere, but I think I might have ran out of what I was using. <laughs> Let's see, diamond painting, coffee cup. Yeah, I think I did run out of that one. I did. So we're gonna have to get that in another order. But let's do. Let's do this little geotag. I have some editing to do and I've been enjoying listening to my edits while I diamond paint. So I think I'm going to do that today. All right, so let's do this washi at the bottom. And I think, will this guy fit under here? so quiet in here without the air conditioning and then when it comes on it's, I feel like it's so loud <laughs> okay, like that and then we'll add this one in down here it's a little bit lower so try to get it as even as possible that looks good Ooh, I love that feels like a desert 
I don't know how, if you guys live like out west or in the south. Oh, guys, I feel for you. Me and um, Joe were just talking last night because we're staying to the kids. Today's, or tomorrow's, I think they said, today's feel like temperature is going to be like 102. Which, that's just no joke. It's, it's only going to be like 90, but it, with the humidity at like a thousand percent. And then um, tomorrow, it's got a feel like temperature of 107. So Joe used to live in Arizona when uh, he worked in the fire service. And he was telling them, like, how that was, like, the air temperature <laughs> on some days. And I was saying how I had gone to Vegas with my cousin. And we felt like our flip-flops were melting into the sidewalk. So, um, yeah. Sorry about the heat there. Sorry that I'm complaining that it's going to feel like 107 here. If you're dealing with that kind of heat, I apologize. <laughs> and I hope you're staying cool. The summer has been so strange. Like, one summer, I forget what year it was, we had rain every weekend. Like, it was just, it seemed crazy the amount of, like, it would be sunny all week, and then on the weekend, it would rain faithfully every weekend. Um, and they said that that was, like, very rare. Like, the, the chances of it happening again was rare, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, cause it has been raining almost every weekend, but eh, it's been okay. I don't mind some rain every once in a while. Like it rains. Actually, you know what? I don't want to use this one because we have karate and I want to use the karate emoji. Um, it rained on Saturday. <coughs> so it seems like it's just been raining one of the weekend days, but still. I don't mind a good rain every once in a while, especially in the summertime. I like that, you know, there's a day that you can kind of be like cozy inside um, and not feel guilty about not going out and being outside in the pool or whatever. And I feel like that mainly because um, I feel like summer is very short and not long lived, you know? And then back to the school year and the routine of everything. Well, my kids can go in the pool until like, usually, some years, crazy as it sounds, like October. But in the summer, we're very go, go, go. And we do lots of different things because it's not warm very often. Like, or for very long here, I shouldn't say very often. Before we get into like, you know, fall time and then it's fall everything. So, let's do, it's nice to have that rainy day every once in a while, because then you can have like a guilt-free day inside with your book. <laughs> okay, so I believe we are going to do our errands on Wednesday, as far as I know. So let's get that in there. But rain every weekend, I don't know if I like that idea. It's not going to rain this weekend. That was going to be nice this weekend. But it was funny because yesterday, Joe was saying, where are my little cars? That's not what Joe was saying. I'm saying, where are my little cars? Um, oh, yeah. <clears throat> Joe was saying, because it was Sunday, and we had our nice, like, pool day, and we are playing cards, and he's like, why can't today be Saturday? <laughs> because we didn't really do much on Saturday because it was raining and we kind of hung out inside and did that kind of stuff. Um, and then yesterday was the actual day before work and we were like hanging out and like you don't feel like doing anything. You have to be like responsible and we had to stop like playing cards so we could do dinner at a reasonable time and then I had to make lunches for, for Joe and yeah, you know. It would have been better if it was Saturday. Sunday is always a good rainy day. There's something about a nice rainy Sunday or a snowy like Sunday. I don't know. Okay. Um. Saturday, I have an appointment. Let's do this one for my appointment. It's at ten o'clock. I'm going to get my hair did. 
And then on Sunday, I believe, as far as I know now, as long as nobody is sick and nothing happens, my kids are going to be staying at my parents' house. Um, let's see. Probably going to drop them off around 4. <clears throat> this is kind of like tentative. So if I have to put like a box over things, I will. So I'm going to try to make sure I save like the same size in case I need to change things around. Because I think what's going to end up happening. So Joe and I are going to be away. We're going to be, well, the whole family, we're going to be away for the weekend after. And Joe and I's anniversary is um, on the 24th. And traditionally, we go out for dinner, we do sushi, we go to St. Mary's Fireworks, and all that kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> let me put this in here. Um, that's what we're doing. Oh, I put this on the wrong day. This is supposed to be Saturday, not Friday. Oh, no. Can I get it up? So, traditionally, we go for our sushi. And then we go watch the St. Mary's fireworks. We walk around the feast for a little bit. And then we go watch uh, the fireworks. So St. Mary's Day is <clears throat> Sunday. My thought process was we'd go to the beach with the kids, take them to the beach, then come home, clean up, and I'd take them to my parents' house. But there's a parade and stuff. My uncle does like a little party. So I don't know if my parents want to take them to that. So I got to kind of work out that. All right, let's do our high and our low section. Okay, and then I need some to-dos. So I'm gonna put a to-do here. And I think I wanna do one on Tuesday. A lot of things I have to try to remember to do. And then I wanna do a box on Friday. Cause again, I don't know if we're gonna go on Thursday or Friday. So I think I'm going to put a box on Friday. If we do go, it would be around this time. So I guess I could have left it there. This box just switched it out. Um, so if we do go this day, um, I think I'm going to do... I'm not going to put any more boxes down. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to put any more boxes down. I'm going to do highlights. And then this way, if this plans change... I can go with the flow. <laughs> Where do I want to put this guy? I've got this graphic here. I'll put him right here. Cute. Okay. We'll get some pens and paper down in a minute. Um, I need these. And then I need to do some cleaning. So we'll pull these guys out. I already got my trash. Let's see. What's for dinner tonight? Oh, I'm going to do leftover pizza tonight. Let's see. Oh, you know what I need to remember to do? I need to get, make a nail appointment. I'm trying to, like, plan it out. I also need to put in a... While I'm talking about it, let me write it down. Because this is what I do. I talk about it, and I'm like, what was I saying? <coughs> All right. So, the boys need a haircut boys haircut oops and then I need to make a nail appointment that's so weird I don't normally write in my planner like my planning section with my my fountain pen but I thought maybe I would try it and also it kind of matches the spread I love this one okay so I wrote that down and I want some of these hot ones. We're having a heat wave. <clears throat> okay. So. We need that. We need this. Okay. Let's get some pen to paper. And then um, we'll see what's going on after that. Let's see what I'm going to do about the play date situation. I know another one of my friends was coming back from a, a trip. And she wanted to hang out this week. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe... 
I don't like to like have too many things going on in a week because I also have work things and the kids have school things that they need to take care of. We got karate. Karate. And then we have a play date today. We're excited for our play date today. Weston's walking buddy. And yeah, Spencer goes to school with their little brother. So kind of fun. Haven't seen them since um, the end of school. So we're excited. All right. Now, tomorrow, it's going to be a million degrees. I'm hoping like later today and tomorrow we'll go in the pool. Because my pool is like in full sun, which is great. Um, except for when it's like a million degrees outside. <laughs> um. But we set up like a an umbrella. Let's do so sweaty. I've been very sweaty, guys. I've had so many <laughs> hot flashes. I'm like, okay, I'm done now. Um, but yeah, so once the shade comes through around like four o'clock, the the pool's in nice shade. So it's like kind of nice. Pool feels very warm. It's nice. All right, so I'm gonna put. Let's see, um, probably around this time when Joe gets home in that vicinity. And this is like kind of tentative because you never know. <laughs> it might still be too hot. Let's see, learn new things, take a stroll, let's hike, eat a watermelon. Ew. Like I want to, I want to like watermelons so bad, <laughs> but I don't. All right, let's do the beach emoji. Which one? Let's do all of them. Can we? Can we do all of them? And then we will end up going to the beach. I was going to change my hair appointment, but there is no... Let's just... Oh, you know what? Let's write in my weekend. What color I want to do it? I think I want to do it this gold color. Um, there was no other appointments until after my trip, and I guess it, it'd be okay if I waited, but I'm just gonna do it. I have my money saved and I've been saving points. I go to Ulta, <laughs> I've been saving my points. So, I have like, I don't know, I've been saving them for a while. I have like $50 in points, so I'm like, oh. We do that one. This one's kind of cute. We'll do that one, and then let's do. I'm not gonna do the beach ball because I feel like beach ball would be like the pool. We have a beach ball like that, and then let's put this one. This one's too big, so let's do this little guy. We'll put him over here. Okay, so hopefully we have our beach day. If not, we'll figure it out. Um, ooh, I have bathing suit ones too. These are so cute. I forgot I got these this year. They're so adorable. We'll put this one over here in the middle. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Eat a watermelon. I want to like watermelon so bad. Spencer likes watermelon. I do not. That's okay. It just looks delicious and so refreshing in the summer. It's one of those things where I'm like, yes, I would like a watermelon. Um, okay. So I need to do some cleaning. I'm gonna make my cleaning. I'm gonna make my cleaning list. Um, I don't know about these two days, so I think we'll do it here, and I'll do my cleaning on Wednesday. I did some over the weekend, so I don't have time to do. I like to like space it out so it's not all the things at the same time. I do need. Where is it? I need a little mini line. Um. Maybe. This one too big? That one's too big. Let's do... I could always make my own line. These lines are like... It's so convenient. Alright, let's put this here like that. Because when the play date is over... I need to... Do some editing. So... Do I have... An editing emoji. I think. I think maybe I do. Oh, I want to do some meal prep too. I found another account. I usually 
go through like sweet and savory stuff for meal prep and stuff. Um, but I found someone else too. This is an edit one. I can't remember the name right now, but it's like make ahead meals kind of thing, like crock pot meals and things that you can just like freeze the entire bag of food and then like just pop it out when you need to. Um, is that going to cut into that too much? No, because I don't have anything there. When you need to like cook it, you just take it out of the freezer, you pop it in the crock pot. So I've been, I, I like did like, you know, we put a comment down in the, the comments and then they send you the PDF or whatever. I think July's meal plan was like five bucks. So I'm, I've been debating it because supposedly it's like a market list. You just like pick the, the theme, you pick what you're going to eat, um, for the week. And then like you, it's like a whole packet of things. So you can like have the grocery list be easier and things like that. And then you can just plan it out for the week. And I'm pretty certain it was one that said you can go grocery shopping, get everything you need for like a hundred dollars. So <clears throat> I don't know. Like, I'm like, all right, well, $100 and then, like, another, like, 50 in snacks and all the things. Just trying to cut back where I can and make sure we're eating, like, somewhat healthy. Oh, that's right. I'm using my fountain pen. So, let's see. We've got edits. And uh, thumbnail design. Okay, and tomorrow I have, let's see, I'm filming this morning, so what time is it? It's almost 8 o'clock, wow. Alright, so let's use the little micro arrow. I think somebody in one of my other videos had commented they wanted to see where I was going to use the micro arrow because it was like the last thing that was left on the page. I didn't, I didn't use it because I didn't have an idea where to use it. I think it's stuck in my reusable book, but we can do it right here. Like, how cute. My Monday morning is a little weird. Now we're going to leave that. We're just going to write in, you know, oops. Okay. Um, and I don't have a space to write like my morning stuff that I'm doing, but I, I know what I'm doing. So we're fine. Um, we'll write in pool time here. time. Hopefully. Don't know. And then pizza is for dinner tonight, so I don't have to worry about that. But I do want to plan for the week. I'm going to pop this in here, too. Might as well. <clears throat> I'm just going to decorate up here. Because I know what I'm doing. And let's use this guy, because we are going to do a little bit of work tomorrow. Probably around... This time. Oh, I feel like I have a line of emojis and things. I'm sorry. By the time Spencer gets up, it's like we have breakfast and shifts because Weston will eat early because he's an early riser. And then Spencer is my late riser. So we have two separate breakfasts. I've been trying to <clears throat> like have Weston have like a breakfast snack because he is. He's up at like five in the morning. So by the time like nine o'clock comes around, he's pretty hungry. I'm gonna put this like this. It's kind of long, but I do have quite a few things to do and film. I have a lot of things coming in. I have a lot of surprises coming. I'm so excited. Okay, so um, I need to budget, and I want to meal plan. Good morning. It's Weston. Buddy, I'm filming, but that's okay. Oh you didn't know, that's okay. Are you dressed for karate? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to finish doing this, okay? How many minutes is this? How many? Speaking of being hungry, that was Weston, and he was wondering um, when we were going to have breakfast. Contacts for Joe. Okay, I'm not sure what exactly is going to be on my agenda for tomorrow for filming, so I'm not going to fill that in. Um, 
and let's see, we're gonna write date night, sushi, and fireworks. I'm excited. And then let's write a beach day. Family, beach day. Okay. And I have a hair appointment on Saturday. Let's see. Hair. 10 a.m. Make a nail appointment. <clears throat> Joe's contacts. I'm trying to remember if there was anything else I wanted to write in that I didn't forget. <clears throat> All right, so this is my habits. 1B, 1B. Who's playing by me? Oh, it's Willow. We got this new toy for the kids because we're trying to like help Bo not be so nervous and like have accidents. Um, we're trying everything. So I ordered like a new, um, Kind of like a hunting toy, I guess, like to help get some of that energy out. So it's one of those circular things with the holes in it and there's balls inside of it. They all love it. So <clears throat> I don't know if it's working, but they all love it. And then I got some like calming treats. So hopefully, hopefully it works. I think I got to talk to my cousin, but as I'm sitting here looking at this, if they go Thursday and I pick them up on Friday, that's great. We could have a full day on Friday. Maybe I'll drop them off on Thursday afternoon and then we'll have a pool day on Friday. Like when they sleep over, then I'll drive up. Let's set it tentatively for Thursday. And let's do it for around when Joe gets out of work. And then I can drive up on Friday and go in the pool with the kids. All right, let's do that. Let's set it here. And then I'll talk to my cousin. I think she's probably awake right now. She's got two little, so she's probably been up since five. Um, I'm just gonna write sleepover at Auntie's. I'll just put it in there like that. Cause actually that isn't bad. Like I could always drive them up <clears throat> and then come back and get them in the morning. Like, not get them in the morning, but do a couple things in the morning and then drive up and have some pool time and then come home. Maybe we'll do that. I can talk to her. See, sometimes planning just helps you, like, see what you need to do. Okay. Um, I want to put, I think, do I want to write it in here? No, I don't think so. I need to do some... Some reminders for oh I know that actually made me think of it <laughs> there's a dentist appointment thing in here I need to make a dentist appointment I think I said this in my other videos I had an appointment a while ago like when the eclipse happened and it was when my kids were suddenly being dismissed from school I'm like yeah I can't my kids <laughs> um I'm gonna put down here because I'm probably not gonna have time make dentist like I've had a, I've had an exam because it's a new dentist so I had an exam they did all the x-rays did all the things I have like pain at my right teeth like my right teeth I guess my back teeth when I chew like not um cavity feeling you know like if you it's like hot and cold doesn't bother it it's just like food and only in two separate teeth and they had said because I grind my teeth at night and I should wear a mouth guard but it's hard to wear <laughs> I've been like trying um but I do need a teeth cleaning and I want them to check it again to make sure the guy the dentist was like well I don't see anything but you never know they could find something when you're you know when you go in for to have a cleaning and I'm like kind of scratching my head a little bit because I'm like wait dude you took x-rays can you not see through these things so I don't know um I want to use one of these meal prep. I'm 
put it here. And I do need to pay a couple of bills. And this is a no spend, no spend week. So I'm gonna actually put my no spend on hmm, Wednesday maybe. So that's what's tough. Like our week goes from Wednesday to Wednesday. So I think I'm gonna put it down here. But yeah, so I have to try to get to the dentist. Um, Weston was down for a cleaning, that he needed a cleaning. And <clears throat> they called, I didn't realize it was them, and I didn't get the voicemail, but they called to see if he wanted to come in because he was on the cancellation list. He has an appointment in September. It's like, hi guys, I don't have an appointment. <laughs> so I have to call them. Like even if I just have them investigate. I have to pay a new bill. I'll make sure I have that reminder there. I thought I set it up for auto pay, but I did not. And we have been trying to save some money. It's been part of my habit list to transfer $5 from one account to another. And I forgot a couple of days, but I have it like marked. So it's going to go over. Let's see. Let's do... I don't need that one. I'll just use this little piggy bank. So I'm going to actually put this here to cover this. Cute. Okay. Let's put all these back in here. I have like a stack of all budgeting emojis that I've been using on and off in my budget planner. But um, I'm like, not from being honest, my budget notebook, it's not really working the way I wanted it to. So it's still a work in progress. Um, I use it because why not? It's there. It has like a calendar in it. It's really what I need just to see what's due. Um, but it's not working the way I expected it to. So I'm still on the hunt. One of these days I will find the perfect budget planner for myself. All right, let's see. What do we got here? These are all the summer ones. I'm trying to clean up when I am done because if I don't, I'm like, where is the stickers? I'm mad I tore my book. That's right. I think this looks pretty good. I was hoping to use more stickers than I did. I've got some trackers here that I can use when I plan and my cousin, I mean, in the weeks. And... I don't have anything else going on, but maybe, maybe we could use these because why not? Let's see if they fit right over what I did. Hmm. I don't know if they're going to fit. You know what? It's okay, I think. I could probably pull them off if I don't want to and move them, but... I actually don't mind that. That doesn't look bad. Too bad I don't have three for this one. Mm -hmm. That makes me sad. I should just take these off. I don't have enough. So we're not going to use them. I'll use them for another spread. I forgot I had them. <clears throat> okay, we can use these guys though. I love these guys, they're so cute. Check it off, and then I'll use this one. There. I'm gonna have a bunch of to-dos in this week. I think that's it though. I'm sad. I was like, oh, I'm going to use all these. I do this every time. I pull out like my leftover kits and I'm like, I'm going to use them all. And then I don't because there's just so many. And I mean, maybe this, maybe in the winter time I do because we do have a lot more going on in the winter time. Even though I only have, you know, two kids, it's like I have an army because then, you know, we have, um, like who has karate, who has dance and then this activity and that activity and after school thing and all the things. So we've got this, this, our schedule during the school year definitely builds up fast. I do have one sticker on this one. So let's use it. I already used my bean. I must have, this must be an older kit. 
where I wanted to get the freebie. So I pulled it before I was done with the kit. All right, let's do, oh, I can do this like that. I never know how to use these flags. I try. I know there's a purpose to them. That looks good like that. And I think we're good. We have our high and our low moment over here, but I don't have, um, let's just write in happy moments. Oh, I didn't fill it out. I gotta fill it out last week's. Last week's happy moments. Happy moment in cursive. Happy moments. Was the relief on Weston's face when we finally were able to print his math packet that he needs to get done this summer. And he has a plan, which I love the way his mind works. He has a plan. He picked out a book. I had two books actually. And oh my gosh, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So the book, I forget what it is. It's like the amazing something. I'll put it in the description below. It's a book. Um, it's on the middle school um, nominee for like best book or something list. The Amazing Somebody. Darn. I just, I forgot. Um, anyways, so he started, he picked out the book. We went to the bookstore the other day. He picked out the book, all the things. He started reading it because, so his plan is he's got 31 math pages to do. So he's going to do one page a day because I printed back and front. So he figures one page a day, he'll get it done in 31 days. And then he's going to read 10 pages in his book. And on average, he'll be done with this book in 31 days, which is long before school is out. Um, but this is, you know, he gets a little stressed out. So he needs a plan. He has a plan now that we have the math, the paperwork and everything. He has his plan. So the other night, I think it was Thursday. Today's Monday. I think it was Thursday or Friday. He comes out of his room and he's like, Mom, this book is so good. And I'm like, that's great. I love when my kids come and tell me they're enjoying their books. Spencer's reading Babysitter's Club, which is awesome because I used to read them too when I was a kid, even though they're very different, but still pretty cool. Um, but he comes out and he's like, I love this book. He's like, did you know he is 12 like me? He's like, I actually think I'm a little bit older than him. And then he goes, and... I think he's autistic. And I'm like, really? So I was like, why do you think that? Because I actually just read a book where I thought the main character might have been autistic without it being said. Um, so he's like, hold on. And he gets the book out and he starts looking at it. And I guess like the kid, seems like the kid was adopted in the paperwork. It says that he had um, something, there was some term that they used that I can't remember off the top of my head, but then it went in and it said autism, autism spectrum disorder. And he's like, right? He's like, that's what I have. And I'm like, I was like, it's, yeah, so he, he has autism like you, <laughs> you know, I was like, you're autistic. So he was really, really excited about that. And I was pleasantly surprised. Like it made my heart happy that not only can kids in this age group read about this disability or this, I don't know, difference or whatever it is, whatever you want to call it. Um, and, and, maybe have a better understanding and then for my child to be able to read and have that association with a character that's like him and I think that's really important I think that's really cool it's important for all sorts of things for disabilities for race for uh, you know um all the things all the things that that kids especially have um books and other things that like they can relate to so I thought that was really cool um most of the books that I've read that talk about autism are for parents or for like older people or, you know what I mean? So it's not been anything really for kids. Um, I think when he was younger, that uh, my mother-in-law had gotten him a book that I think Temple Grande had. I think that's how you say it. Temple, Temple Grande. I don't know how you say her last name. Um, that she had written for kids and we read that and Weston liked it, but he was still, it was, he was a kid. So like a, a chapter book, like a summer reading book. Um, so I was really excited and he was really excited and that just made my heart so happy. So, um, yeah. And so far summer work is going good for him because it's paper and pencil because we couldn't get in the program because his math teacher, um, told him to do this Alec program, but I guess it's not open in the summer and he's graduated out of already. So he couldn't do that. So they sent over a packet. Um, and I was able to print it. It was something like I didn't have a passport or something. So they fixed it. We printed it and, um, so far so good. 
paper and pencil and reading a book is the way to go. Um, hopefully we can help Spencer along the summer. She has I ready to do. So we'll get that taken care of. But I do think I might get her a math tutor or at least see if we can help her with her multiplication division. Just keep doing like a couple of problems every morning after breakfast for the memorization stuff. But um, so far, so good. <clears throat> Okay, I just wanted to share that with you. I thought that was really great. So um, I don't know if you um, possibly have a child that's in middle school age, like sixth, seventh grade. I will put the name of the book down in the description in case you're interested. It just really made him excited. I don't know how much they talk about it in the book. I have not read the book um, and he isn't really coming out and like being like, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. He will at times, but so far I've already just heard that he, this person, this um, character in the book um, is autistic. So excited though. I'm excited that he has a book that he can relate to. I don't know. I have a big smile on my face, but okay. Anyways, if you guys have stuck around this far in the video, thank you. Thank you. I know we're all busy. So spending time with me is very much appreciated and taking time out of your busy day. Um, this is going to do it for me for now. Uh, we'll be back for a planner check-in probably Thursday, Friday, and we'll, we'll figure out what's going on for the sleepover and all that thing. So let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this. Um, and I think that's it. So have a beautiful week and keep planning. Bye.